here is the back of the head and, and the torso. Oh, no. Okay. The first thing I'm going to try and try and figure out here is which hand does he have it in. It's not a big deal if you can't can't fathom it out. It's not like the end of the world, but it's an advantage if I can. So a way of doing that is if you feel this little prod in your back. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the corner of my eyes, I try to look around. I'm going to try and get a look out of my peripheral vision. Your attacker may tell you, don't look at me, look away. So I'm trying to get a look here. I can see that um, he's got it in his right hand, his right hand. Okay, because I can see his left hand is free from this angle. Again, I'll show you that if, if you get it wrong, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so from here, I'm going to drop my hands down lower. Again, follow the rules. Yeah, whatever you want. I'm moving underneath it. This position. So it's one quick move, stepping back and stepping underneath. From here, yeah? Underneath it, and we call this a battery grip. Come in with the elbow to the head, yeah? One positive and one negative. Or positive, negative, reverse it, it doesn't matter. I don't want to end up in this position because he's got flexation in his elbow here, and you definitely don't want to end up in this position, yeah? Because he's just going to pull out, yeah? Another thing about this position here is I suck it in nice and tight using the big muscles of my back. And I'm going to need this elbow, this forearm, as a brace. Okay, what I mean by that is I'm going to tuck it into the, the, underneath the chin or on the side of the neck. I don't want my elbow past his neck because now Robert can reach around my back and he can come around me with his other hand and take the weapon again. So if I get into this position here, try and come around now, try and walk around. He's not going anywhere because you're controlling the head. Okay, so when I get into this, but when you guys are training this, when, when, when you turn for it, when you turn into here, be careful, don't tuck him out. Yeah? When you get into this position with your training partner, suck him in nice and tight and, and say to him, all right, try and get out. Try and pull out of that. Try and pull, pull the gun out. Try and pull it out. Try and pull it out. Oh, you did. Okay? See what I'm saying? Go with him. Don't try and try not to be too steady. Have a little bit of a dance. <laughs> let him let him do the work rather than you pulling one way, he going the other. Just keep this tight and let him move. You're locked in this position. That's just so that you guys get used to getting into the right position here. What I'm going to do from here, from this lockdown, this positive positive and negative, I'm going to switch my stance and throw three knees. Don't aim them. Don't think they're where his balls go. Oh, got to get them in the balls. Just bump into the into the thigh. Do three knees. Yeah? Follow a little bit of a headbutt. Reach across then only after you've thrown the three or four strikes. Do not attempt to get to this position and then reach because he's still going to be strong. I need to stun him. I need to short circuit his system a little bit. So one, one two, three, boom with the head. Reach across, turn it, pop it out. The reason we do that rather than just bring it back here is uh, if you break the finger, it will go floppy. It may get tangled up between the trigger and the ring guard. Okay? So I turn it, break, pop it out. So I'm coming around. Okay? Swing it around, bump. Fire with the gun into the back of the head, and then follow your routine. Okay? Just so you can see it. <coughs> and then send it to the back, trying to get a look. Again, it's in his right hand. Hey, buddy, whatever you want. Turn underneath. I'm moving away. Okay? Do that. What's the question? If you move the other way. The other way. Yeah, in the wrong direction. <laughs> I try to get a look. He tells me don't look. I'll make a, a choice in my mind. I'm going to go in a certain direction. What about if it's the wrong direction? I turn in here. Don't stop and go, oh shit, hang on. Can you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do here is pull over. Close line. Pull him over, suck the weapon in with this hand, close line with this hand, it's yours, okay? You've got a straight arm bar, you've got a straight arm lock on. Once more, on that, going the wrong side, turn underneath it, as soon as I get to here, you'll know. That's why you've got to be thinking on your feet, and constantly changing your reaction. As soon as you get to here, I'll know, just straighten the arm out, WWE style, just keep this tight. Keep it sucked in. Use your lats, your big muscles in your back. Don't try using your biceps or your shoulders. Suck it in tight using your lats. Push back on it. Go with it so that the gun isn't pointing at you. Go with it. 
meet to the side of the head, reach across, and pop it up. Okay? Try and get a look and see which hand they've got it in.